What's going on? My name's Roman and welcome to Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. On today's episode, I'm bringing you another Funko Pop review. This time, it's Hot Topic exclusive Wonder Woman. Now, this is her while she's still in training before she gets all of her cool stuff. Well, she has some items, but we'll go over that here in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box of this Wonder Woman Funko Pop. Now, we didn't have a whole lot of Wonder Woman Funko Pops before Batman vs Superman. Now we have a lot. Now we have a lot of Wonder Woman Funko Pops, and look, we're Wonder Woman fans at, in this household, so we're gonna try to track all of them down. Uh, the ones that we don't have right now are Diana Prince and then Wonder Woman Blue Dress. That is a GameStop exclusive. I don't know if that's an Amazon exclusive. I heard that. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'll have to double check, so. Hopefully, we'll get our hands on these two soon, but for now, we got our hands on the Hot Topic version. Now, she looks really cool. She has her hair uh, tied back in a long ponytail. It's not cut off. It's kind of in a high ponytail that runs all the way down her back. I guess not all the way. It's not that long. So yeah, good colors on the box. Nice open window. Good sticker placement, nice Hot Topic sticker, it means you're getting something cool and they'll we'll have it for a little bit and then they just don't have it at all and Hot Topic's kind of funny like that, so get them while you can, Hot Topic Wonder Woman. Now, let's see, it's a nice waxy box which means it's going to be easy to rip, oh don't do that, come on, oh there we go, perfect. A lot of people ask me, why don't you open them from the bottom, it's because I forget, I never open anything like that. I always open it from the top and so if I start doing that and there's like tape or something then I start ripping things and it's just a disaster so I just continue to do things the way I do them because I just I know myself in, in that way. Tabs. Tabs and a stand. Oh I thought she was going to be able to stand on her own. Her head is huge. Okay so we have Wonder Woman. There she is. Man, her head is really big compared to her body. That's why she needs to stand. There's no way that she's going to stand up. Alright, let's... Can they just start giving us pogs? Can they start putting pogs in these things? Come on, Funko, cash in on some pogs. You know it's time. Alright, and... Oh, holy smokes. The feet are totally not aligned with the foot peg. Like you can see there, it's on the complete outside, which means I'm going to have to stretch the foot out to some ridiculous length. Oh, please don't break. There we go. All right. Better? Better. Alright, here we go, Funko Pop Wonder Woman, uh, while she's still in training in the Mascara, the Paradise Island, the Hidden Island of the Amazons, she has her long ponytail, really nice, let's go ahead and get her on hashtag make it spin so we can get her up and take a better look at what we got going on. So we have some similar type boots, we have some like Roman uh, strappy Spartan type boots. Or shoes, I guess. They're just regular shoes for the time. Um, or the inspiration. She comes from an island that was given to, to the Amazons, or, or at least given protection uh, by the gods to the Amazons. There's a whole lot to the lore, and I wish I knew it better. I do know some Wonder Woman experts, so next time I see them, I'm going to have to get some clarification on where exactly the origins of the mascara um, are from, or are, are rooted in. I know it's in Greek mythology, it's just, there's, I don't want to get it wrong. I definitely don't want to get it wrong for anybody, so read the comics. That's all I can say is read the Wonder Woman comics. Um, I'm well versed in Batman and a couple other things, I really like The Flash, but Wonder Woman is a character that I'm really hoping to catch up on. Um, especially before everything gets too expensive. 
I was already planning on reading Wonder Woman. I had the New 52 run, but I want some of the older stuff and some of the, the Rebirth stuff, and now it's just, it's very expensive because of the popularity of the Wonder Woman movie, so, man, I might just have to wait in line for all that. But for now, I'm happy that I really got this, uh, really happy that I got this. It looks great. The shield, the paint job on the shield looks really, really nice. The hair looks like it did in the movie. It looks good. The color scheme on the costume, it looks a little bland and plain. But if you saw the rest of the setting, you'd, you'd be like, wow, there's nothing plain about what's going on here. I do believe that she's already rocking the gauntlets. So if you look very closely, you may be able to see the gauntlets already on her arms. So thank you so much for watching right here on Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum, another Funko Pop review. As always, peace, love, and keep on collecting.